And happening now, of course, the day after Thanksgiving has long been known as Black Friday. It's one of the biggest shopping days of the year. This year, of course, not a normal year, 2020. COVID-19 is affecting store hours and capacity, but not the spirit of those shoppers. Channel 3's Mark Robbins is joining us now live from West Hartford. Good morning, Mark. So how are things out there now that some of those stores are starting to open? Well, I'll tell you what, good morning, first of all, uh, Caitlin, and good morning to, uh, to everybody watching. If you're, if you're looking for a long line behind me here at Best Buy, you're not going to see it. Store's been open for about an hour and a half. About 30 people have lined up uh, in the overnight hours to get in. That line dissipated, and uh, it has been, uh, there's been a steady stream of people coming in, lots of people looking for buys. Uh, people are going to be in the stores today, but certainly not like years past. The, the people inside these stores are going to be in the minority this holiday season. Actually, shopping in stores is expected to be down considerably this holiday season. The CDC has labeled it a risky activity when it comes to COVID-19. Now, Best Buy is one of a few national chains to open before dawn. Its coronavirus protocol will be of the utmost importance. Across the street at West Farms Mall, there will be curbside pickup and even appointment shopping. There's also an app called While Wait, and many of our retailers are taking advantage of that. You can book a time to go into the store that's just for you. There are deals to be had online and in person. The State Department of Health is encouraging people to stay local and avoid staying inside stores too long. Of course, the lure of a bargain is tough to ignore. Trying to get the PS5, trying to help some from south. No PS5s to be found here in West Hartford, the Best Buy. In fact, there were none before the store even opened. Stores across the street at West Farms Mall, they'll be opening shortly in, at about 7 o'clock. Reporting live in West Hartford, Mark Robbins, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.